Hey Fit Like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest. Okay, as you can see, I'm still on the sofa. I'm not in my own bed yet. Um still having to sleep at an angle because of my, my ribs and that. Still on morphine. I think I've got maybe about another week to go with that and then hopefully I'll be off of that, maybe onto something not as strong because I tell you what man. That morphine, it just keeps knocking me out. I spend most of my day asleep. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, it's just time. I've just got to be patient and rest. And this last week, that's all I've been doing. Just resting. Not doing anything. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to need a new sofa. Because um, I've been on this sofa for three weeks solid now. 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's going to be a big dip for I've been lying all the time so yeah so that kind of sucks but um, oh and the other thing is I've not shaved yet <laughs> I'll tell you what man it's doing my head in um, a lot of people look at razors as a shaving tool a razor to me is a comb <laughs> I use it to comb my head and I just oh I'm just itching to get this off but I can't mind what subscriber it was um, I think it was Rich I think it was you it said uh, again just to just to leave a beard and then once I was fit um to do the competition video um <laughs> deal with the beard so that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to actually have a shave and get all cleaned up. Um what else? So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean Oh, what happened, and I've just got to take it easy and um, be patient. That water change I did, um, the tank's kind of going downhill a wee bit. Um, the water change I did, I tell you what, man, that was in hindsight stupid. I should never have done it, I should have just left it. But if you're a reefer, you're okay. But if someone needs doing on your tank, you just you just do it, um, or you just or you just you kind of relax until there's something needing fixed or cleaned or sorted you kind of relax till you've done it so I did it but I tell you what that knocked me back must have been about a good three days um, just pure agony um, and I ended up increasing the amount of morphine and painkillers and stuff that was taken so that wasn't good but we've got through it um, so this episode I was just gonna give you a quick update on myself, so as you can see, I'm a bit better. I can actually hold a video camera, hear a conversation. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, like there's nobody here. Abby's at work and my son's at school, so um, kind of long days, like. But and I can't do nothing with the tank, so I've just got to look at it. But one thing we did get, and um, we got a new power head. So I'll uh, show you that just now and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it and um, my plans for the future. Okay, so without further ado, roll the video. Okay, so here's the pump that I decided to go with. Now, originally I was going to try the Max Spec Gyre pump. However, rather than spending £300 on something I'm not even 100% sure I'm actually going to like, I decided to go for this cheaper option just to see if I do actually like the flow pattern because this isn't like your normal pumps, it creates like a gyre and I'm not really sure if I'm going to be a fan of that to be honest. Okay, so I've kept the RWA in the tank just now and I've added the CP25 on this side just temporary, it's not fixed in place on hand I just wanted to get it on and see see what like it is As you can see, with the two pumps it's stirring up quite a lot of detritus off the sand bed, which is good so hopefully that will all get doing the, into the sump and get filtered out I'm quite happy with that. The flow seems to be a bit more 
rapid on the LPS side than it is on the SPS side which isn't what I want, I want it to be more turbulent on the other side so I think what I'll do is I'll remove the RW8 and I'll swap the CP25 onto the other side I'll just take a closer look at some of the corals the maze coral, it's got all its tentacles out um, all the detritus and stuff that's getting kicked about it's <laughs> taking the opportunity to maybe catch some stuff uh, looking at this side as you can see the particles are moving about quite slow um, so this is nice I need to be a lot more flow this side so I think I'm definitely going to have to move the CP25 to the other side because this just isn't working at this side at all this side it's definitely a, a lot more flow on this side I mean you can see that Zoa is flapping up and down <laughs> um, yeah definitely seems to be a bit more turbulent here yeah a great deal I've not got the pump set that high to be honest I think it's only at 50% so I think what I'll do is I'll get it switched over now here's a side profile and I'll be honest with you I don't really like the look of that a lot bigger than I thought and I actually think the max bet is even bigger than that um, which is just ridiculous so I'm not a fan of how it looks or the design um, in regards to the flow whether I'm going to get used to it or not well we'll just have to wait and see but my first impressions of it is it's quite an ugly looking thing um, this Gorgonia is not moving that much so, yeah, like I say, I think I'll definitely get it shifted, move it to the other side, and we'll see how the tank looks then. But it's good that it's kicking up all the crap off the, off the sand bed, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Just need impressed with how it looks in the tank. It would, I mean it would probably look better if I had a bigger tank maybe it's just because my tank's so small right so I removed the RW8 and I've put this pump onto this side now it does not look so bad I mean it does look a lot cleaner however I'm just I think because my tank's viewable from three sides um, I'm, it's just quite ugly seeing this big huge long power head on the side of your tank so I'm maybe a bit of fan of that. Now I could ha add another one to the other side and obviously that would make the flow a wee bit more turbulent and unpredictable. But I just, I just don't want, I just don't like it. I don't like the thought of having two of these on here because I think they're distracting, they catch the eye too much. I think your weird pumps that you have, like your MP4As and RW8s, Tansies, all of these are a lot smaller footprint that produce just as good a flow so I'm afraid this pump yeah as far as I'm concerned this pump's a fail it's not for me I don't like the, f the flow pattern uh, I'm not into this gyre thing I'm really happy I never spent the money and bought a max bet because I'd be absolutely kicking myself just now so however I've spent about 90 quid on this so I'll leave it on the tank just now um, I think I'm going to add the RW8 onto that other side and uh, just so that I can get a wee bit more random flow over beside the SPS um, and yeah because when I turn this thing up it just starts moving all the sand obviously because it's like a gyre it's just going making like a, a loop de loop all the way around the tank um, but yeah overall the pump's good it's fine and quiet although I did notice that if you have the cable facing down the way it makes quite a bit more noise so if you have it so the cable's up the way like you see in this picture um, the pump runs a lot quieter so if you've got one of these and you're noticing it's quite loud 
make sure you've got the cable pointing up because I noticed that that made a huge difference with the sound coming from the pump. Don't know why, but um, yeah, so it operates a lot quieter when the, the cables, as you see in this picture. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a great pump. The power in it's crazy and you can actually have it quite high up the surface and it doesn't have bother blast your corals. But this is a problem I have. I mean, looking at that, <laughs> it's just ugly, man. Look at the size of that thing. It's crazy. So it's going to be, it's going to stay on here, obviously, because I can't. I've, I'm not made of money. I can't just afford to throw things out. But I actually prefer this smaller pump. Very small footprint, and this thing produces just as much flow, and in a more unpredictable fashion, if you ask me. So, yeah, that's going to be changed, I reckon. So, I've got the wee RW8 on a little pulse, and this helps just sh create a, a more reef crest kind of scenario over beside the SPS. And as you can see, the Gorgonian now, it's uh, love and life getting blasted about, which they love. Gorgonians like the light if you get a photosynthetic one and they also they need a lot of flow if you've got one and you've not got it in a high flow area algae tends to grow on them and this kind of stops their polyps coming out and then obviously they end up perishing so make sure they get plenty of flow and that keeps them clear of algae growing on them and it keeps all their polyps out and they'll love it so I do like this um, however I do think in the future the uh, power head will be changed for something else, possibly another RW8 or something else, I'm not sure. But just now, I'm just going to leave it because I can't go and change it because I've just bought it and the wife will kill me. <laughs> so I've got to pretend that I do like it for a wee while. <laughs> um, and then we'll obviously get it changed later on. So just going to leave it as it is. I might get used to it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Obviously in the next few months, we'll see how the corals react, but just now they seem to be loving it. Um, the SPS, especially with the RW there, are getting plenty of flow. So yeah, we'll see how it is in a few months and possibly I might either stick with what I've got or upgrade to something else, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So till the next one, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.